Photography has been a part of my life for as long as I can remember, but it wasn't until fairly recently that I actually considered myself a photographer. One of the benefits to the job that I used to have is that I got to travel all over the world. And one of my favorite hobbies has always been to to photograph these locations. Uh, a lot of the places that I've been, I'll probably never get to go back to. And it's really nice to have the visual memories of all of these experiences that I had during my time in the military. As far as being a photographer, that is something that just recently, actually, it's been it's been less than two years since the photography bug kind of bit me full force. It was actually my last trip during my time in the Air Force, and one of my really good friends who was down there with me had a a camera that had fully manual controls, and it just blew me away the things that he was able to do with this camera, the way he could turn the night sky into a, a basic daylight scene or the long exposures to get light trails from car headlights and taillights. And it was at that moment that I realized that even though that I'd been photographing everywhere that I'd been, I had left so much on the table by just using a, a simple point-and-shoot camera. The very next day, I took him with me and we went into one of the, the local shops and I bought myself a, a camera that, while it wasn't a, a DSLR, it had full manual control. So I was able to basically begin my journey of completely diving into photography. This last photograph was my first attempt at using photography as an art form. It's a shot taken at 3 o'clock in the morning that I was attempting to turn the night into day. And from that point on, my photographic journey has never been the same.